Hey guys, I want to do one more video tonight. I'm going to open up a pack of 82 Tops Baseball and try to get us a, the one and only Cal Ripken Jr. Uh, rookie card, Jim Mint. It's sealed up pretty tight. I want, I want to try to keep the wrapper from getting messed up and torn too bad. Uh, I've got a wrapper PC as well. That, the wrapper PC actually goes from like 1969 and up. It's all doing well tonight. Alright, first, I'm just going to pick them up like this as we go. Jorge Orta. Jorge Orta. Cars are in immaculate shape. Buddy Bell. Buddy Bell. If you see anyone in here that you think should be uh, graded by PSA, please let me know. We got a John Lowenstein. It's a pretty nice card here. Willie Stargell. We are family. We are family. Next, we got a Joel Youngblood. We got a. I don't remember this guy. Aurelio Rodriguez for the Yankees. And that was my that was my decade right there. I don't remember. I remember this guy, Biff Pocaroa. Roba. Piss, uh, Biff po Pocaroba. He'd be a good piff guy, I bet, wouldn't he? Would he piff? I wonder if he had cards, would he piff any of them? Jerry Mumphrey. We got a sticker. Ken Obertfell. He used to coach back in 2005 or 2008 the local uh, White Sox uh, single A team, the Intimidators, named after after the uh, Dale Earnhardt. We got a Padres. Steve Mira. I said all these cards are in really good shape. They just ain't got no good enough big names yet. Oh, here's a good one behind. No, it ain't either. I thought it was, I thought it was a Nolan Ryan, but it's somebody else. Bobby Brown. I thought this was Nolan Ryan. Wouldn't you think the same thing? Don Sutton. Larry Bradford. The Braves. Fred Brent Bruning. I got a I got a story to tell about this guy. Back in 1985, me and my cousin would buy a box of baseball cards every every weekend from the local flea market guy. And this guy here, Fred Bruning, I guess that's how you pronounce his name, was in every single pack in that box. Unbelievable. Oh, we got us a Bruce Suter All Star. Uh-oh, I think this might be somebody's rookie card. But there's a piece of gum stuck to it. Is that his rookie card? Let me see if it'll peel off. Yeah, it come right off. See? What was somebody give me for that gum? If somebody wants that gum, I'll, I'll send them the gum in the wrapper. And the cards if you want them. I'll send them on. But uh, if somebody does want these cards, comment below. If more than one person uh, comments, says they want them, I'll do a random, I'll randomize them. Not much to it. There is some good card, good quality cards in there as far as the condition all goes. But guys, I do have a new uh, pickup. Not, uh, it's about right here. Derek Jeter, I picked it up here. But, um, two weeks ago, and uh, the Phil Rizzuto bat, I've had it a good while, I just ain't showed it yet, 
There's a 1978, I think, Pete Rose, 76 Pete Rose bat, never been used. It was actually in a uh, hardware store back up in the mountains of North Carolina. Uh, I found them on eBay, and a uh, guy had Mickey Mantle, he had Pete Rose, he had a bunch of stars. I ended up only bought that one, uh, but I had to throw that in since I was showing my bats. Well, guys, y'all have a good evening. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, comment if you want to. If you don't, that's fine, too. Guys, I appreciate you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. See you in church.